Now let's say if we have the following circuit. Let's say we have two resistors parallel to each other. And let's call this one, let's say it's R1 and this is R2. Now let's say that R1 is 4 ohms and R2 is 8 ohms. And let's say the current that enters this part is 6 amps. How can we calculate the current that flows through R1 and R2? Now, before using a formula, you can figure it out intuitively. Notice that we have an 8 ohm resistor, which is twice the value of the 4 ohm resistor. So the current that flows in this branch has to be half of the current that flows through this branch. Because as you increase the resistance, the current decreases. So we need two numbers that add up to 6, one of which is twice the other. So this is going to be 2 and 4. So 4 amps has to flow through this resistor. And 2 amps have to flow through the other one. Now it makes sense because 2 plus 4 adds up to 6. And also, if you calculate the voltage across each resistor, it's going to be the same. For instance, if we wanted to calculate the voltage across R1, based on Ohm's law, it's going to be the current that flows through that circuit times R1. So we have 4 amps flowing through a 4 ohm resistor. So 4 times 4 is 16. Now if we wish to calculate volt, uh, V2, it's I2 times R2. So we have a current of 2 amps flowing through an 8 ohm resistor. So 2 times 8 is 16. So keep this in mind, the voltage across two parallel resistors will always be the same. Now, if you wish to use a formula to calculate the current in each branch, for a two resistor circuit, here's what you can do. I1 is going to equal the total current, which is the 6 amps, multiplied by the other resistor, R2, divided by R1 plus R2. So this is I1, the 4 amp current. Let's go ahead and calculate that value. IT is 6 amps, R2 is 8 ohms, and then R1 plus R2, that's going to be 4 plus 8. So this is going to be 6 times 8 divided by 12. And this will give you a current of 4 amps, which is the same as that value. So now let's use a similar formula to calculate I2, the 2 amp current. So it's going to be the total current entering the circuit multiplied by R1 divided by R1 plus R2. So it's going to be 6 amps. R1 is 4, and then R1 plus R2, that's going to be 4 plus 8. So it's 6 times 4 divided by 12. And this will give us a current of 2 amps. So you can use this formula to calculate the current in such a circuit. So whenever the current divides into two branches, and if you have the resistance of each branch, you can calculate the current through each of those branches. Now what if we have a circuit with three resistors that are parallel to each other. So let's call this R1 and let's say R1 is equal to 2 ohms and R2 is going to be 4 ohms and R3 let's say it's 8 ohms. And let's say the current that enters this branch is 14 amps. Calculate the current that flows through each resistor. Now, the formula that you want to use in this case is going to be this one. Let's start with I1. I1 is going to equal the total current entering the circuit times 1 over R1 divided by 
1 over r1 plus 1 over r2 plus 1 over r3. And if there's a fourth resistor, 1 over r4. So you can extend that equation as much as you need to. This time, notice that the subscripts, they match. In the other formula, they didn't match. The total current in this example is 14 amps. R1 is 2. So this is going to be 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 8. So let's go ahead and plug this in. So this comes out to 8 amps. So that's the current that flows through R1. So I1 is 8 amps. Now, let's calculate the current flowing through R2 using the same type of formula. So I2 is going to equal the total current times 1 over R2 this time. And it's going to be 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. And so the total current is 14 amps. And R2 in this example is 4. Now the bottom part is going to be the same. It's 1 half plus 1 fourth plus 1 over 8. Now this time, for those of you who may not have access to a calculator, I'm going to show you what to do to get the answer without a calculator. Multiply the top and the bottom of this fraction by 8 to get rid of all of the smaller fractions. So if we multiply 8 by 1 fourth or 8 divided by 4, that's going to equal 2. And then 8 times a half, half of 8 is 4, and then 8 divided by 4, that's 2. And then 8 times 1 over 8, or 8 divided by 8, that's going to be 1. And all of this is still multiplied to 14. Now on the bottom, we have 4 plus 2 plus 1, which is 7. So this is 2 over 7. And 14 is the same as 7 times 2. So we could cancel a 7, and so it's 2 times 2, which gives us 4. So that's the current that flows through R2. It's 4 amps. Now, that answer makes sense, because if we compare the values of R1 and R2, notice that R2 is 2 times higher than R1. So if you double the resistance, the current should decrease by a factor of 2. 8 divided by 2 is 4. And so that makes sense. Now, to calculate the missing current, we can use this fact. The total current is the sum of the individual currents in this parallel circuit. So the total current is 14 amps. I1 is 8. I2 is 4. So now we can calculate I3. 8 plus 4 is 12. And 14 minus 12 is 2. So the current flowing through this branch is 2 amps. Now, if we compare the 8 ohm resistor and the 4 ohm resistor, going from R2 to R3, we're increasing the resistance by a factor of 2. So going from I2 to I3, we should decrease the current by a factor of 2. 4 divided by 2 will give us this answer. So there's other ways in which you can find the other missing currents if you know one of them. Now this time, we're going to have a network of four resistors as opposed to just three. So let's say the current that enters this circuit is 15 amps. And let's say R1, that's going to be 12 ohms. R2, let's make that 24 ohms. And then R3, we're going to say it's 16 ohms. And R4 is going to be 8 ohms. So calculate the current flowing through every branch of that parallel circuit. So let's start with current 1. It's going to equal the total current times 1 over R1 divided by 
1 over r1 plus 1 over r2 plus 1 over r3 plus 1 over r4. So the total current is 15 and r1 is 12 so we're going to have 1 over 12. On the bottom it's going to be 1 over 12 plus 1 over r2 which is 1 over 24 and then 1 over r3 and then 1 over r4 which is 1 over 8. So now let's get the answer without using the calculator. So I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom by the common denominator or the least common multiple of 12, 24, 16, and 8. So all of these numbers can go into 48. So I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom by 48. So 48 divided by 12 is 4. And I have a 15 in front of that. And so 1 over 12 times 48, that's going to be 4 again. And then 1 over 24 times 48, or 48 divided by 24, that's 2. 48 divided by 16 is 3. And 48 divided by 8 is 6. Now, let's add up the numbers in the denominator. So 4 plus 2 is 6, 6 plus 3 is 9, 9 plus 6 is 15. And so we could cancel the 15. Therefore, the current that flows through R1 is 4 amps. Now, let's calculate the current that flows through R2. You could use the same formula, but you don't need to. Once you find one of the currents, it's going to be easy to find the rest. So let's compare R1 and R2. Notice that the resistance increases from 12 to 24. So if you're comparing two resistors in parallel, if one of the resistors doubles in value, then the current of the other one, the one with the higher resistance, has to be half of the current with the smaller resistance. So to calculate the other current, it's going to be 4 divided by 2, so 2 amps. So anytime you double a resistor in a parallel circuit, the current flowing through that resistor is going to be half compared to the other resistor that have half the resistance. Now, let's calculate the current flowing through R3. Another thing you need to keep in mind is that the voltage across each resistor is the same. So V1 is equal to V2, which is equal to V3, and that's equal to V4. So let's calculate V1. That's I1 times R1. So we have a current of 4 amps flowing through a 12 ohm resistor. And 4 times 12 is 48. So V1, V2, V3, all of them is equal to 48. So now V3 is equal to I3 times R3. So we could find the current that's flowing through this resistor by taking the voltage and dividing it by the resistance. So the voltage is 48 volts, and we're going to divide it by 16 ohms. So that's going to be 3 amps. So that's the current that flows through the third resistor. Now to calculate the last current, we can use this equation. The total current is the sum of all four currents in this circuit. So the total current is 15, I1 is 4, I2 is 2, I3 is 3, and now let's calculate I4. So 4 plus 2 is 6, 6 plus 3 is 9. So we have 15 is equal to 9 plus I4. So I4 is going to be 15 minus 9, which equals 6 amps. So now we have the current flowing through every resistor. And to check the work, we know that V1 equals V2, which equals V3, which equals V4. So what that means is that the products of the current and the resistance have to all equal each other. So if we multiply 4 by 12, that will give us 48. 
2 times 24 is also 48. 3 times 16 is 48. And 6 times 8 is 48. So each resistor has the same voltage across each of them when they're connected in parallel. And so now you know how to calculate the current of every resistor in a parallel circuit if you're given the total current that enters that circuit. So thanks again for watching.